I'm all sweet, Cloudy. Good morning to you. I hope your day is going well for you, wherever you might be. Not all that bad of a day. At least it isn't raining and blowing about 40 miles per hour. A much calmer day today, but we still do have some wind gusts southwest up to about 25 miles per hour. Currently, it is 46 at the airport, 46 here at Radio Center, downtown Midland and downtown Bay City also looking at 46 degrees. Southwest breeze, it was northeast, east, and southeast as we went through the day yesterday. All of it because of a couple of low-pressure systems that uh, were moving through, one right after the other, pushing a lot of uh, air back toward us. Unfortunately, there was a lot of moisture associated with it, so we had rain. Not only did we uh, have Uh, Somewhere around a half inch, maybe a little bit more yesterday, but we picked up a whole lot more over the last 24 hours. And if you do have a chance to drive around in areas where if you do have heavy rain, you've got ponding going on. Well, there's a whole lot of ponding going on. We're looking at precipitation tallies in the immediate Saginaw area of close to an inch and four tenths. You get out into a Michigan slum. And we're looking at uh, some rainfall amounts of about an inch and three quarters. Case in point, uh, the Vassar area yesterday officially reported two-thirds of an inch. They had close to seven-tenths of an inch uh, the day before. And then you take a look at other locations in Michigan's thumb. Bad Axe yesterday alone, over the last 24 hours, close to one and a quarter inches of rain. Fillion also in Michigan's upper thumb about one and a tenth. Port Austin, right at the tip of the thumb, had nine tenths on top of about eight tenths from the day before. Tuscola County, well, we mentioned uh, the Cass City, Caro area, uh, five to six uh, tenths of an inch on top of that same amount yesterday. And then you get down in Owasso, close to an inch over the last 24. And some locations around uh, the Owasso, Durand area, picked up well over an inch the day before. Southern Michigan did pick up a little bit more over the last 24 than what they had uh, previously uh, around the Ann Arbor area, Chelsea, Manchester, Saline. They were talking somewhere between six, uh, six and eight tenths of an inch of rain there. A little bit closer to Detroit, they had anywhere from a half inch to three quarters of an inch over the last uh, 36 hours. What's going to be happening as we go through the remainder of the day today, very light isolated rain shower activity has moved through. That's what we were getting uh, about five, six, seven o'clock this morning. We have a lull going on right now. And a little bit later on, we're going to see a resumption of the light rain, but nothing of the uh, measurable amount that we have seen over the last 24 hours. Matter of fact, as we move into the first part of the day tomorrow, we're going to be looking at some snow shower and snow flurry activity. Our high temperature is projected to be pretty close to where we are right now. We're looking for a low tonight of 36, and then tomorrow about 45, 46 degrees as well. So what's the difference? Well, the low pressure system that is gradually moving away from us has been located in northern Lake Huron, It's into eastern Ontario province right now, and it is uh, pulling a cold front along with it. So that front is going to be clearing the state by uh, sometime early tomorrow afternoon. And that's what's not only going to cause the temperatures to drop, but also a real good chance of seeing snow shower and snow flurry activity on Friday night and during the morning hours on Saturday. Saturday is going to be a mostly cloudy day and chillier day. Our average high for this time of the year is right about where we're at and where we will be tomorrow, 45, 46 degrees. But on Saturday, we're going to drop down to 37, and Saturday night will drop down to 22. So uh, scattered light snow shower activity and a little bit of light rain mix is in the forecast. Within the last uh, day, or I should say that within the last hour to two hours, there have been bands of some really heavy snow crossing I-75 in a very likely area in northern Michigan, right around the Gaylord area. All that activity is moving in an easterly direction, 
but it's moving very slowly. So uh, if you're traveling in that direction, plan on running into some pretty heavy bands of snow uh, early this afternoon. Possibly by later on tonight, all that activity should move out. The other thing that we are watching right now is rain turning into ice, turning into snow in southern Wisconsin. Uh, that activity is heading in our direction, and that's what we will be looking at as far as the forecast goes for us. Long range to take us all the way through the 6th of April is no change as far as the temperatures go. We are going to be averaging below normal for this time of the year. Precipitation pattern is going to let up a little bit. After the we finish off the work week next week, uh, we will see uh, some moderation in the precipitation amounts. So we'll be looking at average moisture uh, as we uh, move into the first uh, full weekend of the month of April and then the first full, full work week. So uh, all in all, chilly weather. That is going to be a continuation uh, over the next not only couple of weeks, but it does appear as though the month of April is going to average out below average as far as our temperatures go. And all the models that uh, I've been able to take a look at, and uh, I really firmly believe they're very accurate, we are going to be looking at an above average precipitation month for the month of April. So any planting that might occur in April, there's going to be some pretty small windows for that activity to happen until we get into about the last 10 days of the month. Record high in this state is 83. That was set back in 1910. The record low is three. That was set in 1940. A year ago, it was nice. 69 was our high. 48 was our low. Record amount of snowfall on this date set back in 1937 is 3.7 inches. But now we've still had a few days here in March where we have seen the uh, snowfall records right around a foot or more. So we're not out of the woods yet, but I really think as far as what we're looking at right now through the end of the months, uh, nothing of, of the caliber of a snowstorm like we have seen in recorded history. Sun will set this evening at 754, rise tomorrow morning at 730. More on the weather as we go through the broadcast. Standing by, we've got uh, Melinda Sweeney. Over at the Andersons, we'll find out what the markets are doing to us. Of course, Doug Klein will be along. Joe Kramer will be along as well a little bit later on. All of that coming up. But first of all, we want to remind you the weather forecast is brought to you by the folks at Nutrient Ag Solutions. Nutrient Ag Solutions has the local expertise to recommend the corn, soybean, and other seed products that are the best fit for your field. Plus, unparalleled agronomic support with products and services to unlock yield potential and improve crop performance from planting to harvest. Ask about our financing options to help you get more from every acre and lead the field. Visit your local Nutrient Ag Solutions branch or go to NutrientAgSolutions.com. Say, do you want to unlock the secret to higher yields? If you're applying dry fertilizer, the key to better yield potential is Titan XC. Titan XC is a fertilizer biocatalyst that unlocks and releases the bound up nutrients in granular fertilizer, promoting better root uptake and plant growth, drive performance this season and beyond. Release more nutrition, expect better results with Titan XC. For more information, visit lpi.ag unlock or contact your Nutrient Ag Solutions crop consultant today. The story when it comes to agriculture, as it is with almost all businesses, is risk management. And when it comes to agriculture, nobody does it much better than the Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency. You know, they're licensed to serve all of Michigan with both conventional and organic crop insurance. You can get a hold of their agents on their cell phones for emergencies, or you can call the office, easy to do, located in Reese, 989-868-4722. Risk management, it's all about taking advantage of the good things and protecting yourself against the not so good. And given the way the weather conditions are starting to shape up here in the early spring, hard telling what the summer is going to be all about. So be prepared. Contact the Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency today. We say good morning to Melinda Sweeney. Melinda, um, I hate to ask, but uh, have we got more limit up moves or limit down moves? We, we've been trading with such volatile markets. It, it just, it's day after day after day. 
it really is. We are weaker today. So we are down today. We're not down limit down, but we're down nine on corn, 11 on beans and 11 on wheat. Any particular reason why the markets are doing what they're doing? Are we getting some reports, some feedback uh, from some of our competition? Yeah, the markets were higher yesterday with uncertainty in Ukraine and crude oil. Um, and we weren't able to hold on to those higher prices until overnight. Um, so we opened on the overnight down. Um, the managed money has kind of pushed across the sectors long, and it's going to be interesting. I don't know if we're going to take much longer position with the stocks, quarter stocks ending report coming out and planning a ten, um Planning attentions reports come out next Thursday with the WAS, the USDA. Okay, so that's coming out. When is that next Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. So the end of the month. Yep. And then, I don't know, it seems to be trades kind of stalling a little bit. It definitely seems to be a little quieter um, awaiting that report. And it's more of a wait and see kind of action today with um, Ukraine and everything going on in the world. As far as planting is concerned in the United States, I haven't really heard too much. Uh, are we moving ahead in some parts of the country? Um, I've heard Texas is. Uh, locally here, no. Uh, the rain last night and yesterday seems to put a little bit of a damper more on our parade than we'd like. Yeah, it sure has. But, uh, yeah, some other parts of the country, it's a whole lot drier. And from what I understand in the uh, southeastern part, of the United States, they've had less than ideal conditions to do any planting as well. They have. Um, I was actually talking to a couple of growers in North Carolina last night, and they have not had their favorable planting conditions as either. So it might be short windows for everybody this year. I really think so. So right now on the board, what have you got? Yeah, right now we are... 677 nearby corn, new crop corn is 615, nearby beans 1667, new crop beans 1447, um, nearby wheat $9.93, and new crop wheat is 956. You have a good day. We'll talk to you again. Thanks. You too. You bet. Melinda Sweeney over at the Andersons. A little bit more in depth. Doug Klein has the latest for us. Market report brought to you by the folks at the Frank and Muth Credit Union. They can help with lines of credit, equipment loans, financing for purchasing land, credit cards, and more. So go to their website and find out what the Frank and Muth Credit Union can do for you. Make them your hometown financial solution. Go to Frank and Muth CU. Org. And by Ed Raymond and Sons, quality clothing and shoes since 1919. Carhartts, Red Wing Shoes and Boots, Stormy Cromer accessories, and a whole lot more at 151 West Broad Street in Chessening. Ed Raymond's open seven days. Doug, good morning. Good morning. How we doing? Well, kind of negative on the grains, almost a percent, uh, about a percent and a half on crude oil down. Um, I don't know. Money's moving into precious metals a little bit. 1% on gold, 3% on silver, and a little bit of money moving back into the stock market. It's been volatile, of course, about three quarters to 1% in the, going on the upside in the stock market. Uh, there's 118 billionaires located in Russia. And so they're feeling some pressure. I heard they're going to reopen the Russian stock market, not the U.S. outsiders, but uh, somewhat to, to Russian insiders. I'm sure they're, they're kind of hurting for money right now. So there might be some volatility there. I don't know. They're talking about sanctioning some of the, the government officials that are surrounding Putin. So that might, that might put some pressure one way or the other on this conflict that we got going on. So Yeah, if there's, a shortage, if there's a shortage of their uh, pancake mix, uh, they might be upset. <laughs> Going to be interesting, no doubt. But uh, anyway, so right here on the board, you got May corn at seven forty-seven and a half, down ten and a quarter. December corn six sixty-six and a half, down five and three quarters. And then uh, September of twenty-three corn is six oh eight, down a penny. Uh, the May soybeans seventeen oh six and three quarters, down twelve cents. November soybeans fifteen oh one and a half, down six and a half. And then uh, November of 23, soybeans, 1347, that's up a penny. 
the May wheat is 1091, down 14 and three quarters. December wheat is 1030 and a half, down three and a quarter. And then July of 23 wheat is 885 and a half, down 12 and a half. Crude oil is 112.97, down a dollar 96. Silver's at three, or heating oil is at 374.33, down seven and a half. And gasoline is 337.23, down six and a half. Natural gas is 536.10, that's up eight and a half cents. Canadian dollar, US dollar gets you 125.22 at the border, that's down 37 ticks. The yen is at 121.98, up 83 ticks. The euro is at 110.04, that's unchanged. And the dollar's at 98.73, that's up 11 ticks. Gold's at 1962.80, up 25.50 an ounce. Silver's at 25.96, up 80 cents. And platinum's at 10.35.20, that's up $14.20. Doug, you have a good one. Thanks a lot. Thank you, too. You bet. Doug Klein over at Oppenheimer. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Quality Roasting of Reese, offering competitive, consistent prices for your soybeans. Give them a call for a quote today. We'll be right back. Jerry Samoski joins us in a moment. Experience the most reliable RTK signal from PC Ag Solutions, compatible with most GPS receivers. Trade in your old radio or modem and get an affordable subscription through us. We have over 25 base station locations across the Lower Peninsula, and we're always looking to add more to our network. Discover more power, more accuracy, and more coverage with our 450 megahertz signal. Call us to learn more today. PC Ag Solutions, 989-868-4444. Well, Jerry, I hope we can shut the spigot off here uh, pretty quick. I had a chance to talk to another nurseryman this morning, Tyler Cluck. And uh, he mentioned that uh, they've had well over an inch, almost an inch and three quarters out at uh, their location, which is over in Thomas Township. Uh, How how have you been doing so far? Yeah, I think we're probably pretty close, Terry. Um, Inch, inch and a half. uh, You know, it's it's clearly enough for right now. But, you know, springtime, this is what happens. So, you know, we'll deal with that. It's just going to slow us down getting things done in the field as well as in the yard. But uh, things keep moving on. You, you do what you can do. You go out and pick and choose. And again, I, I when we talked all week long about pruning and whatnot, you may not be able to clean up the bed so much, but you can prune your shrubs, prune your trees. That's a good time, even uh, if it's a little bit damp on the ground. So there's always something you can do, Terry. And you know, planning uh, as we go forward, when you go around your yard, take a look at things, see how they fared. And start coming up with your plans for dealing with things uh, when the weather does get a little bit nicer to get out. So take a look, figure out what you need to do, and then uh, let's get it done when time gets right. Yep, there you go. Timing is everything and uh, taking advantage uh, when Mother Nature gives you the chance. Jerry, thank you. Absolutely. We'll Thanks, talk Jerry. to you again. Jerry Samalski, Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. Joe Kramer joins us right after this. Looking for a career where every day is different. Got a knack for working on farm equipment. We're looking to grow our team. Hudson Inc., your local John Deere dealer, is responsible for keeping farmers of America running. Honest, dependable, and self-reliant mechanical technicians is who we are looking for. Hudson provides continuing education, tool allowances, and benefits. If you're interested in becoming a part of the Hudson team, go online and search Hudson Inc. Careers for more information. Over to the dry beans we go right now. Joe Kramer, Executive Director of the Michigan Bean Commission, joining me right now. Joe, I have had quite a few folks ask me, and I don't really have a clue. As far as the Ukrainian situation goes and all the activity going on over there, which I would think is detrimental to ag, I know that uh, I have seen reports that they are working in the fields over there. They're trying to continue with their way of life. But one thing that I hadn't heard too much about was dry beans in that part of the world. I would think the soil would be conducive to uh, to raising beans. Uh, are you aware of uh, the standing of uh, growing dry beans over in that part of the world? Well, not as much as we should be, Terry, but we've had our eye on them for several years. They're they're kind of up and comers in the in dry bean production, particularly a navy bean. Uh, we know that some of our customers in the UK have 
tried using some of their Navy Bean product. They've got some nice facilities over there that they've constructed fairly recently. Uh, I know that the combine folks, uh, some of the self-propelled bean combines are are being sold over there in big numbers. So they're they're an up and coming competitive region to us. Um, so we're not we're not quite sure how the how this invasion is has impacted their ability to produce, process, and and ship navy beans. Um, we're not hearing a lot about that, to be honest. But uh, in in converse to that, we've also got a lot of efforts going on to try to put some uh, some of our navy beans into those food um, deserts that have been created uh, because of the war. So I think we're going to end up shipping some beans their direction, um, maybe maybe to Poland uh, to dis- to feed some of the displaced people. But it's a it's a real up in the air question right now. I'd, we we only know a little bit about it, and I wish we were smarter. How are we doing as far as uh, exporting our uh, product? Do we have product to export right now, Joe? Yeah, there's there's certainly some uh, great northerns in the U.S. that are that are in a bit of an oversupply so it, situation. The dark red kidney people have uh, have got plenty of beans to ship. I think there's uh, some people. There's some. Not everybody's on the same page with whether or not we have too many navy beans or not enough navy beans. It depends on which side of the market you're on, I suppose. But uh, we definitely could afford to send them some some product. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, I think on a on another note, we're really excited about the the news of the tariff being lifted in the UK. And and while we read in the paper that 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 affects bourbon and and motorcycles, uh, we also know that 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 beans are in the middle of that. And of course the UK has always been a big trading partner for our Navy bean product. And uh, to have that 25% duty that's been in place since June of 2018, it's kind of taken us out of the, out of that market. So uh, I think, I think between food aid, between tariffs, uh, everything else that's going on in the world, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about the Navy bean situation. That is good news. Joe Kramer, take care. Have a good day. All right. See you, Terry. You bet. Joe Kramer with the Michigan Bean Commission. Mr. Farmer, does the cost of fertilizer have your head spinning? (laughs) Maybe it's time to look for alternatives. Now's the time to see what Dairy Do can do for you. Dairy Do? Dairy Do offers compost blends made with chicken manure, gypsum, and several other natural ingredients that will bring health back into your fields. As a matter of fact, Dairy Do features a mix of compost blends, granulated fertilizers, and liquids that will help to restore nutrients and good biology to your soils. No matter if you're a conventional farmer or organic farmer, Dairy Do is for you. Dairy Do liquids like Kelpful and MCI Corn Starter will benefit your plants. The soil health experts at Morgan Composting have been helping farmers with their soil health for over over 25 years. Put that expert know-how to work for you. Don't let today's fertilizer costs get you down. Now you know the best option. Learn more by visiting DairyDo.com. Get your orders placed now for spring. Put Dairy Do to work for you. Hail plants come from healthy soil. Healthy soil comes from Dairy Do. Let's check the markets over in New York and find out what's going on. Over to Baird we go. Doug is standing by. What's going on, Doug? Well, we got the markets up on all three uh indexes with the Dow Jones trading at 34,621 up 261.52 on volume of 307 million shares. The Nasdaq's trading at 14,075 up 152.34 on volume of 370 million shares. And the S&P 500 has cracked the 4,500 mark at 45.85, up 44.57. Any local interest quotes there, Doug? Yes, the stocks of local interest. So we got we, yeah, Dow trading at 63.72, up 42 cents. DuPont trading at 76.29, up 35 cents. Corteva trading at 58.15, up 74 cents. CMS Energy, 68.45, up 81 cents. Home Depot trading at 316.91, down a dime. Uh, Walmart trading at 142.67, up 72 cents. Deer and Company trading at 429.30, down $2.22. Ford Motor Company, 16.93, trading up a, a quarter. 
AT&T 2332 up 11 cents. Uh, Huntington Bank at 1519 up 20 cents. General Motors at 4474 up 95 cents. And Meta Platforms trading at 218.62 up $5.15. Have a great day, Doug. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You also. You bet. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Steiner Tractor Parts. 800-234-3280 is the number, or go to steinertractor.com. Back at 1230 with an update. Now we conclude our program with a playing of our national anthem. The Premier Kitchen and Bath Gallery Studios, WSGW, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, WSGW FM, Carlton. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. I'm Steve Kathan. A new plea from Ukraine's president calling for more NATO help to help fend off Russian forces who've been pounding the country with bombs and artillery for a month. NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg. We are determined to do all we can to support Ukraine. And I welcome the concrete offers of assistance made by allies today. I'm Stephen Portnoy with the president in Brussels. White House aides made several announcements as Mr. Biden huddled with fellow leaders here. The U.S. will take in 100,000 Ukrainian refugees. New sanctions are being imposed on Russian lawmakers, defense companies, and Russia's central bank. NATO is doubling its forces on the alliance's eastern flank. And a statement from President Biden suggests the allies may send even more troops to the region between now and June. In Ukraine, CBS's Holly Williams is just west of the capital, Kiev. In the city of Jitomir, Sergei is sifting through the 